Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're back at Ashina Castle after we, uh, well, kind of cleared out Senpao Temple the last time, or Senpu Temple, I think it's supposed to be pronounced. And today we're gonna try and head back into the castle. And to do that, I'm actually first gonna try and get rid of these guys again. And there we go. And there we go. First night jar down. Almost quite literally, because down he goes. Now, we're going to go across these rooftops again, because the last time we saw that there were a few night jars across the rooftops to the left there as well. And I see an, even an item over there on the rooftop. So I think I might be able to enter the building like that as well. Although I'm not going to keep that uh, general alive either. Just uh, want to see how far we get like this. There we go. And I think I triggered one of them. So if he jumps over here, that should be fine. Because then I can deal with him on my own. There we go. Shuriken in the face and... And down the throat. Just gonna gather all that up and heal. And now there's that one hanging from the kites. Might as well deal with him rather quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never mind. He has a fire sword. Come on, buddy. He seems to be rather normal, aside from the fact that his weapon is on fire. There we go. And he looked like, yeah, his cloak actually turned black because of his weapon being on fire as well. Now, there was one more behind this. So there's at least one over there. But I felt like the... The yellow marker I got was from further away. Let's just jump over. Yeah, there's one over there. As well. And one over there. There we go. There we go. So the shuriken can really help out there if I can time it correctly. Just to knock them on their ass, but now I can get a stealth hit in on this guy. Then on this guy. And I feel, I feel like I got detected by another one. Like this. Come on. And there we go. Night jars taken care of. And there's just one more at the kite over there, probably. And there's one more behind the corner here as well. I'm gonna have to be careful. Don't trade blows. Don't trade blows. There we go. I did trade blows a lot, but uh, there we go. Healing gourd. And then this guy... Wait, how did this guy die? He must have soiled himself or something like that, because I didn't touch him. Okay then, never mind. Rooftop's cleared. And we get another item over here. More... Candy. So that means we can actually try and get inside the building now. Because I saw there was a window open over there. Right over here. Look at that. Also marked with those purple banners. And that's a sculptor's idol. Don't mind if I do. Fistful of ash. Open up the chest. 
and get whatever is in here. Another gourd seed. Great. Great. Let's get that to Emma. You know what? Right away. Right away. So I got back to the castle itself because I want to try and take out that guy before we do anything. Which means I'm going to go across the rooftops again and try to reach him from over there. Oh god. Yeah. Oh wow. That's death death. Just because I missed pressed the jump and there was for some reason no attachment point never mind should have shut up we are unbreakable. so he's yeah. he's yelling again For us. there we go <laughs> going from one to the other i think i got all of them okay Oh god. There we go. No, you shall not. And there we go. Um, down he goes. Kind of jumped over him for some reason, but that was good. That was easy compared to the spear guy. That was cool. Okay, so now we get this chest. Chests usually have something good, like a prosthetic tool or a gourd seed. Divine grass, a secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. So, we found that before, right? It refers Dogen as well. And, yeah, okay, so we can't open the door from here, which is fine. So, we have the Sculptor's Idol at the other side. So, let's get back to that. I just want to have the prayer beat of that guy as well. So, it seems that the castle itself is both protected by the Night Jars and the Ashina army. So, there's definitely somebody over here who even looks like a normal person. Do I need to attack this guy? Because he looks like he's no suke. There we go. At least he's dead now. I kind of feel bad about that one. I don't know, it feels like he shouldn't have been killed. But uh, any items behind these blinds? No. Okay. So we're inside of a big building. That's something we haven't really done before. Don't know how strong these guys are. You can kill them in one stealth hit, but that doesn't mean a single thing. So I can just be stealthy. And just keep crouching around, because I think the other guy. Ooh, what's that? Is that one of those immortal monks? Looks like a resurrector of some kind gonna just cross because the other guy was over here staring out the window for some reason okay it is eerily quiet in here as well so if you wondering where the music went it hasn't gone anywhere we're just stealthily trying to reach the edge of the rooms here there we go Oh, that's a stab. Got him too. Oh, these guys are hard, dudes. Oh, I need to... Am I outside? I am outside, I think. Okay, so stealth attacks was definitely a good idea. I think I have him. There we go. With the deflect. Okay. Did lose to uh, 
two gourds over that. But we did get scrap iron and more sugar. And we don't need to enter this area anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Although, although, we can actually grapple to the ceiling here as well. Which gives us more sugar. But it looks like that's basically it. Unless there's another way to drop that. Oh, wait, this keeps going. There's another hole here. I would want to focus, of course, on the... Yeah, there's three people here, but I can easily take out the center guy. Oh, uh, but I don't think I can get the drop on... Her, her. There we go. I am murdering old women again. Oh, wow. He just murdered the fuck out of me. Um, turn around, please. Oh, God, there's three of them. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not going to work. Oh, God! I need to get out of this room. I can probably get through this. Yeah, okay. So where is this go? This is not a good idea. I am going through everything here. Ow. Lost healing gourd. Can I go up again? I can't go up again. There we go. I'm gonna go back. That is hard, buddy. So probably need to stealth kill those guys a bit uh, more separate from each other. And try that again, because I'm all out of everything. Yeah, and I'm dead dead. God damn it. Okay, don't fight three of them at once. Fine, I get it. So, killed out the first room again. I don't know if I can actually drop down here. There seem to be multiple levels to this thing and a ground floor. So why wouldn't I just be able to just drop down? I would, probably. Could open up the door. If it's openable. Which it is not. So I need to go through that other room again. Okay, fine. Stealth killing it is. Should do this without healing, but... There we go. So again, as with most enemies, we just need to be aggressive, which is fine by me, but um, I don't know how I can avoid fighting those three guys all at once, because I feel like I won't be able to. Because being aggressive is one thing, but... Yeah, what about the rest? So this guy, I can easily kill. There we go, and let's get up. So there we go, we reset a bit. But of course this guy is still looking at the wrong direction. Ah, and I still don't have that counter done. Oh, heal, heal, heal. Yeah. 
And there we go, Mikri counter in his face. Don't know why I didn't trigger those other guys right now, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I don't know if I should open the door. Might as well. But that might actually just trigger them more quickly. Not entirely sure yet. But let's take a quick look around the corner. So there's two guys just discussing, I don't know, the weather maybe. I could probably kill... Ah, fuck that up. Oh, I'm just, I'm fucking up here. Because I see his posture is almost down and I'm starting to freak out. No, I dodged too soon. I think I can get this though. There we go, that's first one. And there we go. If I can get the counter off, I'm fine. But damn, those guys are hard. Especially for just quote-unquote normal enemies. So we went through here the last time. There's two night jars, three night jars. Defending that area. So I don't think I'll be able to cross that without completely and utterly dying. Um, but there is the staircase as well. So if I able to open up a shortcut over here that would be nice doesn't seem like there's a shortcut but there is a memory oh no never mind and all the sculptors idle let's pick this up and check out the well vision memory remnant Indiana, tell me what has caused the state of this man the rejuvenating waters that is what it is called are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No. They become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. So again, we see Kuro doubt his legacy and we get a first hint of the rejuvenating water's ability to keep somebody alive, which kind of makes sense. Let's check out the sculptor's idol and rest at it. Because, yeah, we're still at three skill points because I died twice, otherwise we'd been over it. But... Not just yet. What else do we have here? So there's two samurai armors protecting this door. And I don't know... Okay. I hear another one. Oh! Ashina Elite. Jinsuke Saze. Okay. Oh wow, he's fast. Um, run away! I can't get out, can I? Oh wow! Jesus Christ! Okay. Um, let's heal up. And not just attack him. Get back, get back, get back. Oh shit. There we go. Deflect. 
He doesn't have a lot of posture. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, careful. Oh, oh, back, back. Heal. There we go. Down he goes. Down he goes. So, very quick dude, but not a lot of posture. Which caused him to die at my hands. There's something watching me. Somebody coming up the stairs. But let's check what this is first. Eel liver. A miraculous drug. God damn. Miraculous drug capable of banishing lightning offered at the Ashina clan altar. Greatly reduces the amount of damage received from lightning attacks as well as a shock status effect. Lightning is a force of the gods. Eels, while small, are relatives of dragons. Even a god's force can be suppressed, though probably not for long. Okay. And then a hanging scroll of an old battle. Ghosts once lurked the lands of Ashina. The ghost's lightning was of the fountainhead gods, unstoppable by normal means. Avoid ground, reverse the lightning. Okay, we've heard about that before. Yeah, lightning reversal. If one is standing on the ground, lightning surges through them, making a movement impossible. But if one is struck while in the air, the lightning can be dispelled from the body and sent at an enemy instead. R1 before landing, lightning reversal. Okay, sounds like something we'll have to use really soon. But I'm gonna rest before we... No, don't come up the stairs. Before we uh, go outside again. There we go, rest. Go back down. Go back down, man. There we go. We went back down. Like a good, like a good Ashina warrior. So, we're back outside, possibly. Because, yeah, this seems to be the end of the, the building itself already. Although, we can, of course, drop down. I can't forget about the fact that I need to drop down into the building as well. That's the pallets. And then we have this. So there's something attached to... It's incense, oh god. So there's a lot of whistling going on. And of course those night shards are back here. What's with the whistling? And dragon fishies. Okay. Oh, how is grandfather? Genichiro. Lord Ishines. And wait, why is Emma with him? It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? What the hell is this? Divine heir, I'll ask you once more. And there's Kuro. Accept me to your immortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Because if he does that, of course. Your victory that day means nothing. Genichiro would be uh He will risk his immortal. life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. And we're here! Hello! That was an entrance. My lord, I have come for you. So no stealth this. attack this time, I suppose. Well, let me take a moment. Okay. This is going to be a boss fight. For as long as you are alive, the dragon's blood can never be mine. Yeah, but you can't kill me, though. So it seems like we're a bit at a Mexican standoff there. Face me, Shinobi. At oh my god! 
And there we go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Oh, that was a stab after his... Uh... He broke my posture. I'm just gonna break his now. There we go. Goodbye, Genichiro. Is he up? And dodge and swap and dodge and swipe again. And there we go in the face. Holy crap! That was awesome! Impressive. In one go, jackass! And why is it Just has it better. turned dark all of a sudden? Would you not answer to a different law? Whew. Heresy. That was a double flurry of blades all in one go. Heresy. Whew. My heart is going. You stick this for the sake of preserving Ashina. What is happening? I will seize any man for medical strength. I will do Uh oh! Uh oh! Electricity! Jesus Christ, what has happened to him? Um I I was yelling too soon, wasn't I? That was phase one. This is phase two. Uh, how is my health doing? I'm gonna heal up. Woo. Oh, shock! Um, so light wave, light lightning reversal. And he grabbed me, and he stabbed me. Not dead yet, apparently. Oh, and I got grabbed again. This is not good. Oh, I kind of deflected it, but it didn't work. Okay. Oh, and I dodged too soon. Okay, now what happens now? Then scene 8. Is that a hint? Should I just say... Fuck this and... How much health uh, coins do I have? 739. But I'm also close to my next skill points. Do I want to lose all of that? I don't really. So I'm quickly gonna check out a merchant. So what else do we have here? We have Dragon Blood Droplet, might as well. And then a heavy coin purse, and that's basically it. I have nine coins left. There we go. Okay, so this plays out again, which is fine. Face me.
And that's the first one down. So I'm just gonna focus on just getting him down quickly. And that's a sweep. Just going to heal up. And don't charge away. Oh, and that was an overhead. But I think I got him. There we go. Just heal up. Oh, I don't know if I got the time to heal up there. There we go again. Full health, not full health, not full health. Heal up, heal up, wolf. Ow. I want to do that lightning reversal thing. Okay, let's get my posture back. Uh, We lost each other with the with this this and jump. Come on! Oh! And there we go! And... And there we go! He goes down! Second try! Goodbye, Genichiro! And stab! Enough. Woo! Shinobi execution! Goodbye, Genichiro! Genichiro Ashina! And we get his memory. Woo! Damn, that was awesome. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol, blah blah blah. As the code dictates, the wolf swore vengeance on Genichiro Ashina. And now we get the blood smoke ninjutsu. Ninjutsu technique that turns to spraying blood of a victim to smoke. Both spirit emblems to use and activate it after a backstab death blow. The smoke screen allows one to retake the element of surprise. Life or death struggles define a shinobi for whom a kill is a source of strength. Interesting. But I don't think it's going to be something I will use. Although ninjutsu techniques are powerful abilities that can only be used after performing a backstab death blow. They must be equipped in the equipment menu and cost spirit emblems to perform. Okay, and we get our skill points. Almost actually two skill points. But now, Emma and Kuro, where are they? You were victorious, I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A... Lord Kenichiro, is this the rejuvenating water? Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? 
Seriously? Um, I wasn't prepared. I got the memory right, so. Ah, oh, Shina. This land is everything to me. For her sake. For her sake? I will shed humanity itself. Okay. Resurrection. What, resurrection twice already? Yes. Indeed. Um. Genichiro, what are you gonna do? Goodbye. Oh. Okay. He dusted himself off of the building. Although, I mean, he must have just fallen like 20 feet on top of the next roof. And then on the next roof and the next roof. It must have been really hilarious. Comical. Okay. The smoke dissipates. And I have a minute. So let's just check out the ninjutsu technique. So it's s separate from the combat arts. And uh, we need six parrot emblems to use that. A massive cloud of blood from the victim. Okay, and how do we use that? R1 after a backstab dead blow. Okay, fair enough. Then I'm just quickly gonna rest just in case they throw another boss fight at me. Uh, and I need one more skill point if I want to use that fancy upgrade I wanted before, so... Might as well enhance attack power by confronting Genichiro. Born a peasant, Genichiro Ashina was taken in by the Ashina after his mother's death. With his country on the brink of defeat, Genichiro took to heretical arts and mastered the lightning of Tomo. Such heresy may be the key to saving her. Her. Okay. He was talking about her before as well. Um, and I'm wondering if I want to do Dragon Rod Restoration as well. Yeah. Let's cure that. So the... Amaya, I think his name was, is uh, heal as well. There we go. Or Ayama. Ayama, probably. Don't quote me on that. So, Emma, let's hear what you have to say why you're actually here in the first place. How did you get into the castle? At long last. I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. I give you my thanks. Who exactly do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well that was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded. But there's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. So that is a lot to take in. So she's the doctor of Ishin Ashina himself. So the guy we saw at the beginning cinematic when he conquered the region. Um, Genichiro actually called him Grandfather as well. How is Grandfather, he said at the beginning of the boss fight, when he was talking to Emma. Which also explains why she could get into the castle, of course. She's just a doctor to, well, the ruler of the entire region. But why didn't she just spirit Kuro away from here down on her own if she had access to the building? I know she's just a frail woman. Probably, though I don't know about that, but I, I feel like something fishy is going on around here. Now, an, another sculptor's idol. That's a bit much. There's literally one over there and one over here. And there's Kuro, so might as well activate this one as well. I'm not gonna rest at it, just wanna check out what all of this is about. So, Kuro, let's have a little chat. I have come for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wished to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath the rejuvenating waters. 
the dragon rot. They all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Uh, of Obey the Iron Code, protect Kuro, or help Kuro. Do we want to cut the ties of stagnation? Seems like being immortal is a bad idea for anyone. Although it did allow us to rescue Kuro, of course. But technically we should protect him, right? Is this actually a choice? Like, does this affect the game in any way? Um... I mean, this little kid has helped me through a lot of bad stuff, so I feel like I should just help him. Father, I cannot break the Iron Code. Okay then. So, not a choice then. Father, I cannot... Yeah, if I choose help Kuro again, it doesn't really matter. Father, Maybe three times? Hey, is, this is a video game. This is a video game. I wanted to try that three times. Obey the Iron Code then. I cannot. To protect you. The Divine Heir. That was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you, loyal wolf. Well, that, that was an easy change of heart. Um, let's talk to him again. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. Wolf, look at this. The Immortal Severance Text, a book from Kyoro on the art of severing ties with the dragon's heritage. It looks old, the binding is torn, and several pages are missing. Herein describes the means to perform the rite of immortal severance. Beyond the Fountainhead Palace, located, locate the sanctuary and imbibe the tears of the Holy Dragon of the Divine Realm. This is starting to sound awesome and it feels like the game just started. So beyond the Fountainhead Palace, which is something I don't know where that is, and the sanctuary. Definitely it's don't know where that is. record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the Divine Realm. Yes. It is my belief that with the Dragon Tears, it may be possible to sever the Dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. A person of interest? We're, we're in the wrong show, Kuro. We're not in person of interest. I'm just gonna look behind this wall if there's an item. Nope. Definitely no items we can. Oh, never mind. Take that back. Scrap magnetite. Always handy to have. Um, upgrade materials. I, wa I wanted to burst through the wall, but I couldn't. I can't burst through these walls. There seems to be... So that's the staircase we need to get out. And there's a, a hug wall to get out as well. But the incense burner. Examine. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I return to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the divine realm? That is my belief. Wolf, let us discover the truth together. Okay. Do I need to... Do anything with it then? Or do I need to talk... Oh, I'm sorry I destroyed your candle. Now, as to how we begin our search. I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. 
Okay. We're not ending this episode just yet. We're gonna meet the big man himself, apparently. If Kuro wants to move along. Because god damn you're slow. Wait, follow me like two steps further? Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes, so if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. Sounds pretty straightforward. This window. Is this the window he's talking about? Yeah, this window. So let's open that up. Okay, yeah, we can reach the roof and there are the smoke signals. So that's what we saw before that incense burner. Um, but there's also that hug wall thingy. Just want to check this out before we probably end the episode on the rooftop. There we go. Oh. This doesn't seem good. Whoa. Where the hell does... Oh my god. Is this? Oh, that explains a lot. That... <laughs> what? Excuse me? Are you serious? How does that even work? That... Oh, so that's supposed to be a tunnel, probably. But that... What? I never noticed this. Uh, this is a dilap yeah, this is a dilapidated temple. What the hell? Seriously, that's a big mind fuck. So um, yeah, we're back at the dilapidated temple. We don't have Emma here now, so she's probably gonna stay at the temple. Well, let's talk to the sculptor. Oh, you're here. Need something? The divine heir. <laughs> You saved him. That has nothing to do with me. It does. You have my thanks. Hmm. The shadow in your eyes. It's become a shade lighter. What? No matter. So, you need something? The shadow in your eyes. It's become a shade lighter. That is a weird thing to say. I've abandoned the path of the shinobi. Yet I couldn't abandon that shinobi prosthetic. No matter how hard I tried, I'd never have believed that one such as myself would save another who'd lost their arm like you have. I'm sure it is fate. Definitely, since it's the exact same arm as well. I'm just going to take a look to see if I can upgrade anything. Yeah, so basically I still need a lot of the normal scrap iron, which is weird because I have way more of that magnetite stuff than anything else. And that looks... Wow. Ooh. A flame spear. Missed that last time around. And that also looks cool. Purple fume spark. And a fire axe. That is, yeah, it all looks like really cool upgrades, but nothing for now. Another time out. So with that done, I'm gonna take a little break. We've done a lot, and there's actually somebody over there as well. We'll talk to him next time or her. Don't want to make any assumptions from now but uh, yeah we killed a few mini bosses and we killed genichiro himself so we got our vengeance and kuro is free but now we got a new quest to sever the ties of immortality so we'll do that next time we'll start that next time we're not going to do that entirely next time but uh thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next episode of sekiro shadows die twice goodbye